Welcome to another day in New York where the weather is either too cold or it's too hot. This is Fabulous Reach checking in. Letting you know that I'm on my way on a on a beautiful hot 91 degree uh, photography day taking photos heading to the Brooklyn Bridge heading to the Brooklyn Bridge over there as you can see and it's like it's kind of interesting I don't know if it's like my brain or something but uh I seem to always go to the Brooklyn Bridge when it's scorching hot don't know why I don't know why I do it I'm here and I'm wearing let me show you my outfit so you know you would think oh Maybe it's your, look at this guy. Maybe it's your, uh, maybe it's your outfit. Maybe, maybe you're, you're overdressed. And to that, I say, no, no, I'm not. Maybe I'm overdressed with this, this, the uh, tie-dye shirt on. Or maybe it's the, the, the jean, the jean shorts. But I have on summer appropriate, um, some appropriate clothing and I'm just burning up. I just, I can't tell you. I can't give you the right answer right now. Just watch out, but that's, that's the weather in New York. These are some beautiful flowers out there. But yeah, um, I guess we'll, we'll, we'll get you some, some quick footage and look at the Brooklyn Bridge. And, um, we get this video started. So if any of you guys know about the Brooklyn Bridge, if you guys, anyone been in New York or from New York, you gotta take this warm pathway towards the bridge. I mean, you just see these cars and a bunch of other cars. It's really just a long anticipated, just dragged out walk, honestly. And then imagine with the sun blazing on you. Oh God. I hope I take good pictures, because right now, this walk ain't worth it. And I'm just thinking about the wolf back already. Right, here we are, Brooklyn Bridge. Oh, Five minutes. The beginning of it. <sighs> I'll fast forward to with the SpongeBob flash when it's splash screen. Five minutes later, <laughs> my little legs. I can't walk that far. And five right, guys, so we're here. I know you guys are not gonna believe me. This is one thing I hate about the Brooklyn Bridge. It doesn't matter what time you come here. It's, I mean, unless you're early in the morning, there'll always be traffic always gonna be people here man hey i love people a little bit but uh you know when you're trying to set up and, and, and take pictures and stuff like that people are just gonna be in a shot it's not it's not gonna be easy it's not my best <laughs> oh gosh I know you guys are time me in, in, in this in this orange hat and this gray shirt. Like I told you, when you working and you just got a lot going on with your life, YouTube, you know, until 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 I actually hit a thousand subscribers and I actually get what is it, four thousand watch hours? Yeah, I'm not receiving a check from this. So, you know, this is kinda like, you know, so that's why these videos will kinda be like like a day after, or whatever like that, whatever the case is. Now I was now the thing is about the Brooklyn Bridge was and this one generated just an interesting topic. Um <laughs> very interesting. Um I'm at the Brooklyn Bridge and I was gonna film this when it was just fresh, straight, and hot, like a hot pocket, right out of the microwave in my head, right? I was gonna deliver it to you. But um it was so sweaty that day, it was a hundred degrees in New York. If anybody know what 100 degrees in New York feels like, please like the button. You know, um, it was so hot. It was a lot of traffic. I'm driving, and like I just couldn't record, guys. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But um, in the video, I was actually gonna say a joke because I say a lot of funny stuff, and I was gonna say, yo, today I'm gonna be just one of them. And what I meant by one of them, you ever seen? A guy in a car with his shirt off, no shirt, driving with the windows down, right? I was gonna do that, cause that's that's how hot it was. But I was exaggerating. I wasn't gonna do that. I mean, come on, I wasn't gonna do that. Uh, but coincidentally, and I swear, I wish I recorded this. Coincidentally, 
when I said that, I seen a young man outside with his shirt off. Guy had his shirt off. I don't think I need to say the race because the race is going to just become more obvious the more I go in detail with it. But young man had on no shirt. He had on a, a hat. I, th I think he had on a hat. Can't remember. See, that's why I should have delivered it to you hot. Uh, he had on a hat, maybe, maybe not. He had on um some shorts that was hanging below his pants. Uh, with Etika uh underwear on. I didn't want to know that. I didn't want to see that, but he showed it to us. He was walking, you know, very ill-manneredly. wasn't He wasn't appropriate. He was very disgusting looking, dirty looking. He looked very highly unemployed, and um, he was with a young lady who had, she was very ghetto fabulous, she looked, you know, that ghetto fabulous look, the the weaving with the colors, and and it just looked at atrocious, it wasn't done right, it just looked crazy. Um, she had a nice body, she had on um, these leggings, she had on these leggings and, um, uh, and a tank top, yeah, so yeah, that, that little, they, they just looked at her fabulous, very her fabulous together. Um, that the moral is though, is that this is who she's with. That's that's her man. She's gonna stick by him. Yeah, she's gonna stick by him. Yeah, that's that's her man. Remember that video? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, I just found it very interesting because I remember growing up and being in high school and stuff like that. And you'll meet a girl in the hood, and a lot of people who relate that's from the hood. Um, you meet this chick, and she's like hood, like she ghetto, but she fire, like she like pride, she like the the baddest chick on the block type, right? And like her expectations, like she'll give you the daylights, you know what I'm saying? You look good, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like, she give you, she give you attention. She give you the daylights, you know. She'll talk to you like that. When you trying to be on some, like you know, trying to run down, get to know her, and etc. And then this is when the, the theatrics come up. This is when the politics come up. It was like, oh well, you know, I only date older guys. Or you know, I like guys with cars. I like guys who got this, that. So it's like all these requirements, all these standards that she set out there for herself. And then you like, oh word, oh, damn, you fronting, you know, like whatever like that. She not giving no burn. All right, whatever. Right? She got a standard, whatever like that. Right? Okay, whatever. You don't meet those requirements. But then you finally do see her with a guy. And it's that guy. It's him. That's who she wants. And the dude ain't older than her. Dude don't got money. Dude don't got a car. Dude don't got none of that. But for you, you needed all that. That was your requirements. You had to have all that. Him, he don't got to have that. Son all in them walls. Hitting it, beating it, doing all of that. Don't got nothing to offer, nothing to give. She happy. She love him. He out there, no shirt on. He not even fit. He not even in shape. He look like a, a men in black worm. Um, a little underwear on. You seen his underwear? Like, he just like, it's like disgusting. But this is who she with. You out there, clean, clean cut. You hopping in your car, something they don't got. They get on the bus. You know what I'm saying? You got your own crib. You got money. Shit like that. Don't even matter. She don't care. Because for you, the dude who actually got something going for herself, you got to have more. She want to give you a chance. And then when you up and she wash, she wash now, and the dude with, the, with no shirt on, with the, the terrible body shape, that don't go to the gym, they got a kid. She washed up. He not with her no more. He cheated on her. He got another baby mom. And he cheated on her and got another baby mom. Launch, whatever the case is, now she back in your face with all your nice stuff that you got, and now she want to give you a shot. No, I'm, not, I'm serious. She want to give you a shot. You, you want to take the offer? She done been everywhere, done everything already. But she want to give you a shot now. So, when I just seen that, I was just very disgusted because I'm like, women really settle low. Women set the bar high to only go low. And it's like, they go lower than what they even offered. 
You got a guy who's offering you good, decent. It may not be what this you want. But why are you going even below that? Never understood that. And this is something that I honestly that I face and I just have multiple scenarios and situations about it. Countlessly. Countlessly. And I just never understood it. And it bothered me. But it's like I don't know. It's just like at this point it's like why even why even bother? Because you're seeing this years and years and years now. And the the, the the couple I seen, they're they're younger than me. I could I could I give a take they're like they're probably like 19, 20. So they're younger than me. But it's just like. Like, I don't know. You choose who you want to be with. Like, I just think these are representations of who people are. So you should never take these up, these things personal or whatever the case is. You should just take it as a life lesson. Anyone that you deal with, that you want to deal with, and they don't choose you. And they go for less. That's because that's who they are, and that's their life standards. It's simple. It's, it's really that simple. It's not really any math, really mathematics. So it's just real, whatever. But it was something that I just kind of wanted to address and just kind of put it out there, because uh, I just feel like it just needed to be addressed. And I feel like a lot of people, if you are a person, whether man or woman, who do um, go below your standards and just this, this kind of like. You know, like I'm, I'm, and I'm not saying that money's everything, but it's just about kind of morality and self-respect. You know, like I don't know, it just like you don't respect yourself because this person clearly not respecting themselves, so they're not respecting you. I don't know, but maybe you guys disagree. I know I have a very uh, strong opinion based on things. Maybe if you guys disagree, let me know. But if you if you agree a hundred percent, show it, like the. <laughs> Hit that like button, and um, like I said, subscribe. I got tons of videos, and I promise you guys, this is the last time you're gonna see this me in this shirt and this outfit. Unless you follow me on Instagram, you can follow me on my Instagram in the description. I also post it somewhere on the screen or whatever the case is. But follow my Instagram. My Instagram is loads of loads of fun. We talk about a lot of things on my Instagram, so follow me on there. And like I said, it's gonna be the last time you see my shirt. I just had to re I had to catch up. And I have a lot of content to deliver to you guys, so um, I'm looking forward to that. A lot of good content, a lot of funny stuff, um, a lot of views. Um, I'm I'm traveling, I'm leaving soon, so just that as well. So it's a lot of stuff, man. It's going to be real fun, going to be real, real interesting. So just stay put, stay tuned. I love you guys, and until the next one, bye.